Brawl Thought just dropped, and I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know in this update fast. We have a mouse brawler and a samurai brawler, a couple of new game modes, but most importantly, from September 5th to October 2nd, we'll be visiting Bikini Bottom, and that means I'm ready for a new event. And with a new event, that means we're gonna get rewards, a lot of progression, and event cosmetics. We have seven types of SpongeBob power-ups that go from level one to level three. Tanks will get the power-up Krabby Patty, where patties orbit around them as a shield. When destroyed, they grant increased damage resistance, movement speed, and charge up your super. Support brawlers get Kelp Soda, which creates a permanent healing area, enabling you to charge up your super when healing allies, and using your super will also spawn power cubes. Clockwork Clarinet is a power-up that marksmen get, and after a cooldown, your next attack is power up allowing you to pierce through environments, break walls, and pierce through brawlers. Spatulas periodically orbit assassins, and when enemies are low on health, your attacks instantly take them down, thereby providing you with a speed boost and invisibility for a short duration. Artillery brawlers get the Doodle Pineapple, where the basic attack drops a pineapple from the sky that deals damage, leaving residual damage on the floor, and this pineapple explodes on impact into damaging pineapple chunks. Bubble is a controller power-up that leaves a trail of bubbles when using a basic attack, and these bubbles damage enemies, and at the end of the trail, you have an explosion of bubble that spreads outwards. Chum balls are given to damage dealers who manage to hit enemies, giving them the ability to use homing projectiles for a short period of time with added movement speed and healing. Well, these power-ups certainly seem broken, and you're probably gonna ask me, Panda, how do you get these power-ups? Well, you can unlock SpongeBob power-ups through power meals, which can be bought using the Krusty Cash in the Krusty Krab store. This works like a regular store, but it has a separate button in the main UI, and also has daily deals where you can spend your Krusty Cash. This is also where you can get skins of SpongeBob characters. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get this cash that I need to buy these power-ups? Well, you can claim 100 free crusty cash from the regular shop through a daily free paycheck. Additionally, for the first win in each map with a SpongeBob modifier, you get paid 100 crusty cash per mode per day. That's taking into account two new game modes. So with the SpongeBob event, you can also earn crusty cash for winning in these two new game modes. Trio Showdown is, well, I'll let Drew explain it. He does it better. Trio Showdown. It's like Duo Showdown, except there are three of you. So I guess it's like Trio Showdown. You have four teams of three brawlers, basically 12 people to a map, and the same rules as Duo Showdown apply. You have to be the last team alive when Trio Showdown ends, so it doesn't matter if your bad randoms keep dying. But what you have to do is ensure that you stay alive. Jellyfishing is a new 3v3 game mode coming with this update. In this mode, jellyfish spawn seemingly in the middle of the map, and you have to collect them. The team that collects the most jellyfish win, but in order to catch these jellyfish, you have to hold on to them for at least 5 seconds without dying. As if you die, you drop the jellyfish and you risk the other team possibly winning. The SpongeBob Season of the Brawl Pass features skin from the hit TV show. Squidward Mortis is the Brawl Pass skin and he comes with pink and white color variations with the Brawl Pass Plus. SpongeBob El Primo can be unlocked from the club event for free. We don't have much information about the club event though, but I'm assuming it involves collecting power-ups as a club. Patrick Starr makes his debut in Brawl Stars as Patrick Buzz, but you might not want to rely on him for life-saving. While Sandy Jesse isn't alone and comes with Gary the Snail as her shell cannon turret, Mr. Krabs will be in the game as Tick, but I really think this was a missed opportunity for him to be Griff instead. Plankton Daryl is banking on his rolls to get in and out of the Krusty Krab with the secret formula, but can he manage to do it? I really like SpongeBob Primo and Patrick Buzz, but what are you guys looking to get? Mo is the latest mythic damage dealer to be released on August 29th and be available for credits when the SpongeBob season commences. He's a blind rat living in Star Park sewers and was adopted by Grom, becoming a part of the Castle Courtyard trio. He now works as a part of Star Park's maintenance team. Mo uses a shovel to throw stones at enemy brawlers, dealing 1000 damage per projectile, and these stones bounce further and split, much like Spike's basic attack. He reloads his shovel in 1.5 seconds. With a super 
our blind rat digs his way underground and shows up knocking back enemies who are about 8 to 9 tiles away for 30 to 80 damage as well. This feels similar to Daryl's role, except that he's invincible during the dig, and Mole also digs under walls. In his mounted form, he deals 680 damage per hit, and it seems to work like Draco or Amber's main attack, though we don't know if it's a pierce or single target attack for now. On release, our cheese loving rodent comes with a 29 gem skin called Monterey Mo. Kenji is the latest legendary assassin brawler who will be released on September 29th and be available for credits when the scary tale season begins. Formerly an honorable samurai, Kenji is now a sushi chef who has a wholesome life with his family but seems to be hiding a deep and dark secret from the past. He is also the first brawler of a new trio. Kenji's main attack alternates between a strong slash and a weak dash. Both of these attacks though have a range of about 2-3 to three tiles. The 2000 damage dealing slash reminds me of BB's main attack, while the 1000 damage dealing dash is basically Mortis's main attack. There are a lot of quirks with this brawler as he seemingly heals himself with every attack. With his super, Kenji targets an area with two slashes in a cross shaped pattern, each dealing 2600 damage some multiple enemies. This is similar to Colette's super, except that he can target enemies behind walls too, and he's invincible during this attack. On release, our samurai comes with a 29 gem skin called Fruit Samurai Kenji. I'll go over both Mo and Kenji in a future sneak peek video, so make sure you guys are subscribed. We get 6 new hypercharges in this update in Brawl Stars. Poco Super adds a shield to an ally if they reach their max HP when healed. This shield has the same HP as the amount of extra healing that Poco Super provides. Mortis's bats return to him and heal him once again. That is twice the value. Squeak super projectiles now bounce and split one more time if it hits a target. Terra super is bigger, bolder, and better, and the pull lasts for a longer duration so enemies are quite helpless. Nine speed grows in size and is also much faster, but I find it a little underwhelming. Surgeon's hypercharge lets him hit max level and it unlocks a level 5 where his attacks split even if they don't hit a target. The projectiles as well travel further and the range of his attacks are longer. Well, I can't wait for Mortises. I think Surge is going to be definitely one of the most broken ones. Which one are you guys going to get? The Scary Tale season of the Brawl Pass begins on October 3rd, and we get spooky skins to contrast the Once Upon a Brawl theme. Skeletal Surge is a Brawl Pass skin in this season, and you get the villainous and anti-hero color variations with the Brawl Pass Plus. Nightmare Nani haunts you on the battlefield and also in your dreams. Lock Pick Kit picks your locks, pockets, and more. Dread Knight Draco has swapped out his guitar axe for a real battle axe. Dark Keep Pearl is a lovable oven cookie robot transformed into a haunted castle avatar. Malicious Mandy, the rank skin of the season, will captivate you, pulling you into the abyss behind her. And finally, Possessed Poco has a bone to pick with you. I'm honestly not a huge fan of this theme, but if I had to pick, I'd go with Dread Knight Draco. What about you? There are 11 other skins coming to Brawl Stars in this update. We have three zombie skins. Gruesome Gus, where Gus is controlled by his balloon, who has the brains. Decaying Dynamite, who throws exploding grains instead of TNTs. Putrid Pam, resurrecting herself to give you mama's squeeze. We also get three Moon Harvest Festival skins. First up is Moon Guardian Crow. And then we got Moon Guardian Chester. And the giveaway skin of the season, Moon Guardian Hank. Make sure to join my giveaway with Ashlyn on Twitter. Other skins that we get are the Vampire Van Primo, Cuckoo Colette, Red Jacket Rico, The Fang Fangs, which you can buy to support the Brawl Stars Esports Championship prize pool. Just make sure you use code PAN for all these purchases. Last but certainly not least, the Supercell Make Winning Skin Dragon Bell, designed by my dearest friend Nana, which will be available during the SpongeBob season, which I'm going to be buying in a heartbeat. There's going to be a shake up to our game modes as Ranked will now get two new modifiers. Gadgets Galore is one of these new modifiers where you can use an unlimited amount of gadgets in a game, but they have a cooldown of 15 seconds. I'm sure that a lot of people are going to love this one. Momentum is another modifier where hitting a brawler makes you faster for a small duration, and it works even if a spawnable of yours deals damage to an enemy like a Mr. P. Porter or Ash's Rat. We have some returning game modes, but in a new avatar and skin. Plague Plunder is a reskin present plunder, pumpkin plunder. Basically, you plunder for disease in Instead of goodies, Payload is now Deadweight, where instead of a filled up minecart, you have to move a coffin around the map. Volley Brawl is back as Zombie Brawl, where instead of a volleyball, you're rallying with a zombie head instead. 
We haven't had Volley Brawl for a while, so I'm looking forward to playing Zombie Brawl. What about you guys? So with the last update, a lot of people voiced their opinions about how much they dislike the Brock free model. They don't like the fact that his hair is different, the jacket looks different, so the development team has decided to get his old jacket and the haircut back. Now you can choose which version of Brock you want. It's basically going to be the same deal like the Mortis top hat slash no hat situation. You're going to get two versions of the default base model. If you like this video, you might like my Brawl Talk reaction video here. And remember to use code PAN in the Brawl Stars shop.